Do you want to see what it takes to put a Garmin Zumo XT on your BMW motorcycle with the BMW factory cradle? Stick around, stay tuned, and I'll show you what I had to do to do this. Hey, how you doing? Pat here. Today we are going to install the Zumo XT on the BMW here. What I am doing is unscrewing the lock mechanism. Be careful you don't lose these super tiny screws. It's kind of hard to film this. I was doing it one-handed today. I didn't put the whole uh, head harness on, so forgive me there. But uh, on the back side of this here is the... Uh, piece of plastic that acts as a nut for lack of a better term and that's the piece I'm talking about there in my left hand and then the actual lock just kind of comes out there you go there's the new piece it took me a second here to kind of figure out how it goes up in but it just kind of slides up in there yeah the hole was so small in that adapter piece I kind of had to thread the screw through it first well, let me try to show you what I'm doing here. The lighting kind of sucks in my basement and my camera work is really terrible on this video. But I'm just screwing them in. Okay, here I've got it all put together. You snug these screws down, you don't get them super tight because this thing still has to slide back and forth. So just go by feel and feel what's right to you. This is where that tiny screw goes that came with the adapter plate. It holds the power connector on to this Garmin adapter. This is the cap that keeps the water off the terminals when the GPS is off the bike. What I'm showing you here is each screw needed two washers to, to make the length of the bolt the proper length so it didn't go all the way through to where you couldn't even put the thing on. Once everybody's tightened up, you can see they're below the surface so they will not interfere with anything. One negative is this won't be able to be used anymore. And this is why you can't reuse this when you do this mod. It's because of this piece that sticks out, but you'll see why this piece needs to stick out here in a minute. All right, that snaps the adapter in. Okay, I wanted to get a good shot of this. Now, one thing I screwed up a minute ago, didn't realize it until I went to go lock it again. I just had it a little misadjusted. That should slide all the way back in, just like it did before. That's what keeps this from being able to depress. Makes it harder to steal your GPS. But that's what it should do. Hope this shows up, but right here is the release for the uh, GPS unit, which kind of hard to get to, but because that lock is engaged, the factory lock, you cannot depress this. Now granted, it is plastic, so it can be broken if someone wants to break it. It's just a deterrent, not a true theft protection device. Okay, what happens if we turn the bike on? My first time powering it up. Well, it turns on. That's a good sign. Oh, I forgot it was updating software. Anyway, there you go. And that's normal. I've already got it hooked up to my uh, Wi-Fi, so here I am in the basement. I can do updates as long as the bike power's on. Uh, the last updates I knew of were some uh, just, I don't know, car stuff. We can install them real quick here. Probably not. I'll come back when this is done. Okay. What happens if I turn the bike off? 
Okay, I guess that's a downside to this and a plus side too. If you don't want your GPS to shut off when you lose bike power, it doesn't. But if you do want it to shut off when you lose bike power, it won't. But you can reach back here. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to turn it off, but you can. Okay, I did learn after I made that earlier part of the video that the unit will in fact shut off after the motorcycle has been turned off. It just takes a little bit for it to realize there's no longer external power being applied and it is simply on battery power. As indicated up here, there's no little lightning bolt in it, meaning it's on external. So it will turn off and kind of go into a sleep mode and it seems to work okay. It just takes a bit, so you can still do it that way or like I showed earlier, you can still reach in here, press and hold the power button, and you get the turner vise off. All right, the nice thing is, when you're not using the power plug protector, it's got a little, uh, I don't know, piece of rubber on it that lets it wrap around its own cable to kind of protect it and keep it out of the way like that. Okay, I'm gonna go into the hotel for the night so I don't want my connectors getting all the kind of dew all over them. It just snaps back on. Let me relock it. I will say this doesn't lock quite as easily as it did with the factory setup, but within reason, it's on there. Like I said, if someone really wants to break it and take it, there's nothing going to stop them regardless. But I think the vast majority of people won't realize that's not part of the normal unit. Of course, only cool people who watch my video are going to know that. So anyway, all right, I wanted to get one good shot here of how the locking mechanism goes in and out. And up here is the release for the GPS when it's installed. As you can see, I, push, I can push it down now and take it off. When the lock is installed, I can't. But this piece right here, this whole assembly, is the adapter plate you'll have to buy and the only place I've found it is over in Italy and I will leave a link in the description down below as to where I got it from and just a cool stupid fun fact I ordered this from Italy I got it in five days with no rush whatsoever the GPS however I ordered from a company out of New Jersey and it took me 17 days to get it Tell me how that makes sense. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I'm going to leave you here with a screenshot of the website where I bought it from. I hope you got a little something out of this. If you would, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching again, and hey, I'll see you in the next video.